What is also interesting is what hasn't changed. Um, if I think back early in my career, which was many years ago, and I think to the, my first project back then, and then I think to the project uh, that I'm on now, the thing that hasn't changed it are the roles that, import, that are important to deliver a successful project. How has working in technology um, changed uh, throughout the years? And, uh, you know, if you put aside the, just how the physical technology has changed, the programming languages, the cloud, you know, all of that, um, you know, that the, the methodologies have also changed. Um, used to be waterfall method was the way to go. You know, now we have the agile method and we have different tools to, to help um, track and plan and, and all of that that has really changed. Um, you know, what, 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 what is also interesting is what hasn't changed. Um, if I think back early in my career, which was many years ago, and I think to the, my first project back then, and then I think to the project uh, that I'm on now, the thing that hasn't changed it are the roles that, import, that are important to deliver a successful project. So you need a uh, business uh, advisor, someone in the business that is committed to the project. You need a steering committee, you need a project manager, you need a business analyst um, to decipher requirements, you need to develop, you know, developers, you need um, testers, both UAT from the business side, and you need um, also the QA testers. So although the names of those roles have changed through the years, that fundamentally those roles are still needed to, to, to keep projects and, uh, on, on track and successful.